first of all, what makes the difference between those, pe those pieces that were us or the pieces that we, we've been coming engaged in and looking a bit at the poetics versus the functionality of things? Uh, there is one paper I wrote with Lira Nikolovska who um, on interactive furniture. So we try to look at the, also the poetics of interactive furniture versus the functionality. So we took examples of like massage chairs versus pieces that are actually contextualizing the same kinds of things that the chair could do and use the same technology, but put them in a context. That is so beautiful about your work. Put them in a context in which it just becomes a displacement that becomes funny. So some examples are the, the interactive things that avoid you when you get close to them. Uh, uh, there, there is a beautiful tape that Lira has been, that is, um, acts like a sort of very subtle um, psychotherapist that, that unveils in very discreet ways some of uh, the dynamics in the conversation. So, for example, if we sit at the table, we have big lights that go across the table, and it, it just notices who is talking. And the light always goes from who is talking so that after a while, if you are attentive, it's not in your face, but if you are attentive, you can actually start noticing my own songs, the same one I talked about. You know, and there are many examples like this that exist. That there, there, there is work that has been done and also in spaces where, where some aspects of people's conversation are captured and that unveil otherwise hidden side of what you notice when you are engaged in a conversation with people. Um, so I, I don't want to, to, to talk much more about this, but this is sort of what motivates me in, in, in the work that you are all doing, is to, is to in a way, you know, bring it back to the kinds of creations and ways of sharing them and the ways we thought about what we were doing and, and the expectations we had for the business were very different from what I see in how many of the younger people work. And um, I think that the kind of work that you are doing is, in a way, a little bit at the forefront. To me, not only because it works with textile, but because it actually works with textile. Maybe unexpected, and because the ways of doing the programming are different. Um, so I think it can be it can be good to um, contextualize some of the work that you are doing. Play this what you think. Put put them in different contexts and so on and also. where you can show pretty clearly, you know, especially for people in the field of education, because it's crazy, they really don't get it. The yeah. Yeah. We're trying, we're yeah. trying. Yeah. Yeah. So I think it's useful to have a good repertory of cases where you say, look, this is the exact same instance. We also need ear help. <coughs> that we yeah. Hear yeah. yeah, and that I am very happy to be education more than and then to show how it is so different, why people who actually have all the reasons to be glad that think of your meters. Or, uh, we, we did, we did the, the, uh, a workshop of Santa Media at the, the, the Robale. You know, the, ch the children are not much better at making these movies. They are, they are less afraid of, of moving between what, we, what some people call programming the kind of programming that Mike has been talking about in Como, where it's this on-the-spot programming, right, where you don't program out from your command center outside of the context in which you work ugly, but you are actually in the context and you program something while you are actually acting in this context and change the situation. So voila, that's it. More informal than that, you die. <laughs>